Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my May monthly favorites. I have a lot of makeup products this month. For whatever reason, this has been such a good month for me, more so than other months. I don't know what it is, but I've had a lot of fails in previous months, and this month I just have one fail, but I have a lot of new makeup. I've been purchasing a ton. The Sephora sale happened, which I will be doing my Sephora sale haul update as well. That should be coming, I think, on Sunday, but I wanted to get up my May monthly favorites for you for today's video. I'm going to be filming, editing, uploading for Tuesday. I hope I get it up on my five o'clock time. So if you are seeing this, I managed to get it done. I hope my fellow Canadians had a good long weekend. Mine was super relaxing, spent it with family, did a lot of stuff with the kids, and I'm just happy to be back to film for you guys this morning. So we have tons to go through. So I'm just going to hop right in, starting with all my makeup phase. I have skincare, hair care, and a video game that I cannot stop playing. If you know me, you can guess what it is, but I'll save that to the end. So thank you so much for clicking on this video, for wanting to spend some time with me today. If you've not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and let's jump into my May monthly faves. I'm gonna start off with the sunscreen today because if you're familiar with my skin type, being sensitive, and especially to sunscreen, I break out with I wanna say 95%, pretty close to almost every sunscreen I try. It irritates my skin for whatever reason. They cause breakouts, even if it's made for the face. I just have very few that I can actually use. This specific one was getting close to expiry, so I wanted to try it out, use it up, and I'm almost done it. It has not broke me out, and it is from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is a primer as well as an SPF of 50. This is called the Invisible UV Flawless Primer. It's flawless looking skin plus daily defense, broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. And I really like this because it doesn't leave a white cast on the skin. So this almost is a peachy beige color to it, but it goes on clear. So you can just blend it in, no white cast. And it does have a slight bit of glow to it. I love that it's an SPF of 50 and it just leaves a really nice, smooth, radiant finish to the skin and that's why I've been really enjoying it. This is a sunscreen that I would 100% repurchase. As I said, I found very, very few <laughs> that don't break me out. And this one I've just been trying to use up because of the expiration date. So I'm so happy to have found this if you're looking for a really fantastic sunscreen that can double as a primer for underneath your makeup. Definitely check this one out. It's been an absolute favorite of mine. Then moving on to another primer and this goes hand in hand with a setting spray. I bought the two new products from Beauty Blender and I love both of them. I'm a huge fan of their Boost Skin Tint. This goes hand in hand with it, Boost Primer and Setting Spray. So if you like the skin tint like me and are looking for just products to enhance that product, you're gonna absolutely love this. So these have more long-term benefits in them, good ingredients. Because I love the skin tint so much, I just feel like the finish of it and the wear is enhanced by these. That's why I've personally really been enjoying it, just because of my love for the skin tint. But on their own, I have used them with other things and I still really like the product. So you don't need the skin tint, but if you have it, I think you're gonna really like these. So this is the Beauty Blender Boost Firming and Smoothing Peptide Primer. This doesn't do too much in terms of pores or texture, but it does improve the wear of my foundation and the look. So that's why I like it for that. But if you do have problems with pores, you'll still need to use a pore filling primer in your T-zone like I do with this, but this is nice and hydrating and I like to use it all over the face. For the setting spray, I think more people are gonna even like this one because it leaves such a beautiful finish to the skin. It says it sets makeup, plumps skin, blurs pores, and reduces shine. This just makes my skin look like healthy skin. It's the best way I can describe this because of that plumping and also pore blurring. I wouldn't say this blurs pores overly, but it does plump my skin and really gives a very youthful, hydrated, healthy look to the skin, and that's why I've been liking it while setting my makeup. So I've been reaching for this often and I wouldn't say it replaces my Charlotte Tilbury, but it's a great little addition because I feel like this is just added hydration, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury is more locked long wearing. This one, just the finish. It's something about the finish. I use this in a trying new makeup, so definitely go check those out because I use both those products over there. And you can definitely see better how it 
interacts with my skin and looks. I am wearing a different setting spray today though because it has this blue light defense in it and I feel like just for the amount I film, edit on my phone with my job, this kinda, I wanna be my everyday setting spray. It is from Too Faced. I don't particularly like the sprayer on this, but the formula has been working out so nicely. So I said I was gonna update you guys on this and I love the wear it gives as well as the finish. So this is the Too Faced Makeup Insurance 18 hour wear long wear setting spray and blue light defense. So I will reach for this for the wear time of this. And also if I'm just inside on an editing day, this one is more so if I want that plump hydration to the skin. This is just work day everyday setting spray to me. This is more going out outside hydration, going somewhere. And this one, I'm like around a screen all day, I guess. For the wear, it's what sold me and how it makes my skin look. I just feel like it melts everything together and makes it more smooth. And that's what I'm wearing on my skin today. It just gives a beautiful finish as well as wear. I have been really enjoying this, but the Sprayer could be improved and both of these are fragrance, so please be mindful of that. This one almost smells like a Bath & Body Works spray I had and this smells like a Lush store. <laughs> Performance wise, those two are amazing, but I do like to give you all the facets of the products to make an informed decision for yourself. And then I have a ton of new stuff. I'm just going to organize the lip stuff, which is probably my favorite category. So yeah, stay tuned for lips. I have so many good ones to share. But we're going to start with a foundation that I have been testing out and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Stick. I was testing this out to see if it's a dupe for the Tom Ford Stick Foundation and the Tom Ford is just more luminous. This gives me that Tom Ford finish but it takes more than this stick because this stick is way more matte than the Tom Ford. The two consistencies are different but I can get the finish and the wear pretty dead on to the Tom Ford with this foundation stick. So if you do some prep with this Beauty Blender product, I feel like that kind of takes it there for me, which at the end of the day, I feel like you just need to be really hydrated to use this to get the Tom Ford finish and just set your face with something hydrating like this. So that is what I've been using. I've been using these with this stick foundation and it mimics Tom Ford to me, but you can definitely get that sort of finish if you just hydrate set your face. You don't need to use the Beauty Blender products, but I found those two pairs so beautifully with this foundation. And if you like the Tom Ford or ever wanted to try it, this is a great way to start, but it is more matte. So just know that going in, you may actually like it better if you like more of a matte finish. It just takes more to work out because of that finish, but the coverage and the wear is top notch. Absolutely love it. Less than $10 on Amazon if you're in Canada. So definitely, definitely check that out if you're looking for an affordable stick foundation. This blush is incredible. I am kicking myself for not testing out this formula when it first launched because I do really like their primer for this. But this is that same sort of texture and consistency in a cheek and lip product. It is from Danessa Meyerks Beauty and this is called the Yummy Skin. It has a long name, it just says Yummy Skin in Bellini. So this is for your cheeks or your lips. I've used it both ways on my channel if you wanna go check it out. And I am so into a peach blush. I saw someone apply this on TikTok, it looked so beautiful and it's been my favorite blush this month. You can see I've already made quite an indent in it. Been using it for cheeks and lips and it just gives a very smooth blurring effect to the skin if you have pores or texture like me. It's one of those formulas you're definitely gonna wanna try, especially on the cheek area if you have issue with texture. You're gonna wanna check out these blushes, but all these blushes are fairly vibrant and my friend Steph, she has multiples. She says, you definitely only need one of them because a lot of them are very similar. So this is the one I personally recommend and I've been using. You can see it on my channel in a video on both cheeks and lips. But if you like how this color looks, try it out on the skin. It is stunning and the formula is unmatched. Truly so beautiful. I hope they come out with more colors of this. It's so nice. Brow products. I didn't think I would ever change my brows and I have been loving two new things. So it's been such a great month for me. I'm just so excited. And these products will actually last me longer and are more affordable. So I am just excited about this. <laughs> this is the Sephora Shape and Set 
clear brow gel. And if you like the Benefit one, this is like that, super thin and liquidy, has a brush just like the Patrick Ta one, if you're familiar with that. So it lays it down really nicely, but it's not goopy, doesn't give you white marks, doesn't leave any sort of weird texture on the skin. The formula is pretty much like water, but it sets your brows in place. It doesn't laminate them completely like the Benefit one, which is very, very strong. So I feel like this is the perfect in-between. Great everyday brow gel, good price point, fantastic formula, fantastic brush. Need I say more? Check this out next time you're at Sephora. It is so good from the Sephora collection. Highly, highly recommend. Then Benefit sent over their Goof Proof Brow Powder. I've been using the shade Four Warm Deep Brown. I never thought I would go back to brow powder, but I've been using this every day pretty much, and I have it in my brows today. It gives such a soft, natural look to the brows, and paired with this brow gel, I feel like it's the perfect combination, and my brows just look very natural. That's what I like about it. It softly fills in and if I want a little extra dimension on the tail just to get that a little bit darker, I'll go in with my pen. But this has been just performing so nicely for me, wears beautifully, easy to use, and just gives a softer look to the brows. So if you haven't used powder in a while, I would definitely check out the one from Benefit. They just do brows so well. Their colors are great. And I've been absolutely loving this shade, formula, everything about it, it's so good. I also picked up the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the perfect brown. And this color, you saw me use this in a trying new makeup. I cannot get over this. The color is perfect, it wears long. I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but on my eyes it holds up and that's all I could ask for. I used a YSL one that claimed to be waterproof. This is longer wearing than that one. So it does wear really well on the waterline. I still don't have to reapply it, but by the end of the day, it's not so impossible to remove. It just glides off nicely, so I'm not tearing at my eyes, and the color is really nice. So I am so happy I picked this up. Initially, I wasn't going to buy this just because I've been testing out so many brown eyeliners and I just felt like I was wasting money and I'm like, I don't wanna waste more money, <laughs> but I feel like I found it finally with this pencil. My quest for an eyeliner for my waterline is over. I'm in love with this one. This is my pick. So thank you to those who recommended this to me. I love it. And a brush because quite frankly, brushes are one of my favorite things to try out and find new ones, especially dual ended brushes. And this one from Patrick Ta has been a favorite. I also tried out his nose brush, but I've been reaching for this one the most because I don't contour my nose all that often anymore. I used to do it all the time, but I've just kind of given up on doing that, <laughs> honestly. So I just really like this one. And if I want a little bit of color, I'll just run it down my nose. So this is for contour two. I love the shape of this. So I use this side for cream. And then I use this side to either blend out the cream or add some powder. It's just been a great contour and bronze brush. I like that it's dual ended so I don't have to reach for multiple brushes. And I can just get my makeup done so much quicker in the morning with dual ended brushes. I'm a huge fan. I store them laying down. It's just been working out so well for me. And I'm so happy to have this brush in my collection now. So if you're looking for a really great everyday contour or bronze brush, this you need, it is a top brush in my collection. So I have lip products here a lot and I fell in love with pink lips this month because I was watching Samantha Nicole on TikTok. She also has a fantastic YouTube channel and she does pink lips better than anyone, I feel. So I've been using a bunch of her pink lip combos and just discovering some new products. I also saw Jean Watts and she did a whole lip combo video and I love her pink lips too. So if you're into pink lips, I'll leave both their channels down below so you can check them out because they do lip combos so, so well. So I'm gonna start off with the one that I got from Jean Watts from her recommendation. Since purchasing this lip color on Sephora, it's disappeared, so I haven't been able to find it. I even checked Ulta to see if I could find it in the US. So let me know if you're able to find this lip liner because after I purchased it and fell in love with it, now I was looking to link it for this video and I can't find it. So this is from KVD. It's their Everlasting Lip Liner in Lolita. So they have Lolita 2 and this is the first one. So get the first one if you like this. Beautiful pink color. It is a retractable formula, super creamy, and just a really great everyday pink shade. So I will apply this on my lip line or fill in completely. 
and the color is just perfect for an everyday pink lip that I have been absolutely loving. Usually I'm more of a beige brown lip girl. However, something about pink right now, I mean, I'm obsessed. I go through stages, like all my stuff is pink now too. Like why am I in a pink phase? I don't know. So what I'm wearing on my lips right now and I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on this color is from Summer Fridays. Initially, I just bought the vanilla one and it didn't do too much of a tint for my lips. I do love the formula though. So I'm so happy this one came back in stock in pink sugar. And I'm wearing that on my lips today to give it that light pink look. And I've been pairing it with one of the lip liners that I purchased because of Samantha Nicole. So I'm gonna show you that next. This one's just the pink one and it's just been good for every day. And I feel like it adds the perfect amount of gloss and color while nourishing my lips and they don't dry out. They just stay glossy and hydrated and smooth. And even when this wears off, my lips just look plump which is what I'm looking for. So if it can keep the condition of my lips and it helps it out, something I definitely want. So love this for everyday wear. Then from Samantha Nicole, I purchased these and the number one thing that I fell in love with was this lip liner. So I use this in combination with the pink sugar and that has been my go-to. This is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Rose Wine. This is totally different from what I usually wear, but you can see the color compared to Lolita, how Lolita is just lighter, a touch more mauve. And this one definitely has that rose deeper quality to it. It's so pretty. I honestly can't tell you which one I like more. I've been using both equally. If I want more dimension, I'll reach for the rose wine, but I feel like all over lip color, I mostly use the Lolita, but two are fantastic. And the price point of the Sephora collection you have to try this color. I'm waiting for hot sauce in the mail. I had to reorder it because they sent me the wrong one, but this one has been going in and out of stock, but I highly, highly recommend if you're looking for a pink lip liner, you wanna try something new. If you're stuck in the brown lip liner phase, like I was for so long, try pink. It just changes everything. It's so fun for me to just be on this pink phase. Then I have a couple more glosses. I already had one of these and then I picked up Dolly. I gave my best friend this color, but I purchased it for myself because she really liked it and I don't know why I never used it, but anyways, I picked it up because I saw this on TikTok as well. So we have White Russian, which has been a favorite for a long time of mine, and then Dolly, which I recently picked up because I just thought it was really pretty everyday pink. So we have those two colors there. It just completes the lip look for me. So depending on if I want something lighter, then I'll use the White Russian or Dolly if I want something a little bit deeper in pink. And then I also picked up one of these YSL lip balms because it looked so pretty on Samantha. So this is 162 and it's just really nourishing and glossy, great for every day. So if you're just looking for the perfect pink lip combo, you can try any variation of those and they've all been so lovely. And then the last thing that I have here is actually my fail. It is from Jisoo and it's their honey infused lip oil. This color leaves actually a yellow tinge to my lips, which doesn't look flattering. I have a yellow from Clarins that looks like this, but it doesn't leave this weird look <laughs> to my lips. I don't mind this used lightly. However, the scent of it, I said it almost smelled like it went off. It hasn't gone off. It just smells like oil, like whatever oils use, grapeseed oil, I guess, which I guess I'm not a fan of. So it just smells like nothing or oil, I guess, if you can really smell into it, it just smells like an oil and I don't know, I just don't like that <laughs> to smell on my lips. So this has been a fail for me just because I'm not into how it smells and the weird kind of yellowish tinge it can sometimes give whatever I'm doing to my lips. If I go too heavy handed, it's kind of easy to do, but uh, yeah, the color, the smell just wasn't for me. I am not returning it though, because there are aspects of it that I like, and I feel like I can get use of it if I'm really careful, but I just think on me, a little unflattering, just on me, but I've seen other people use it and look so pretty. So just a me thing. And if you like the formula, the applicator, the packaging, the smell, then I guess you would like it, but it's just not for me. And I know some people get upset when I don't like a popular product, but if it works for you, I'm very happy. These are just the reasons why I personally don't like it. And that's the beauty of makeup. There's always things that you will like or not like. And hopefully if you have similar taste to me, I will help you avoid purchasing this. If you want something similar and better, 
get the Clarins one because honestly it is better. Next, I'm going to talk about skincare and I did get these in PR. I'm always hesitant to talk about skincare, especially expensive skincare. So when I talk about something skincare related that is more pricey, it's for a reason. And there's been few products in my life of testing stuff out that I've noticed differences right away. And this product right here is something that I noticed my skin next day looked brighter, more even, more plump. Just everything about the texture and look of my skin looked different. It looked so good that I would repurchase these over and over. This surprised me, honestly. I looked at this and thought, oh, I'll just give this to my mom, but someone's like, you should try it out. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it out. <laughs> so this is from Lancome. It is their Renergy. I'm not sure how to say it. It's the HCF Triple Serum. So that involves hyaluronic acid, C plus niacinamide, and ferulic acid. So it has these three holes in it where when you pump it out, all three get dispensed, you mix them together and put it on your face. The only, only thing about this product that I wanna pre-warn you on before you purchase is that it is heavily fragranced. And I hate that they did that, but I cannot deny what this has done to my skin and my skin looks different looks better, looks everything I've wanted from skincare for so long. This is doing for me and I'm so happy about it. So I can't pinpoint which of the two this has been. I feel like for me, it might be the serum over the moisturizer. If I were to pick one to start out with, I would do that. However, they're both fantastic and I cannot tell you that I would personally pick one over the other because right now I would buy both forever and ever if it keeps doing this to my skin. And the next one is the HPN 300 peptide cream. This is a high performance anti-aging cream and it has 300 peptides in it. So this is also incredible, highly fragranced, unfortunately, but my skin has been eating this up. It's looking its best and I cannot get enough of this. It was one of those random things I got in PR that I was just going to give away to family or friends. So happy I tried it. So thank you to the subscriber who told me that I should try this out and I am in love, but it is pricey. I think it's around $160 Canadian per product. So it is very pricey. And of course, even with the price, I always have to tell you what has worked, whether it is affordable drugstore, whether it is super high-end skincare, whatnot. I will let you know what's good regardless of price point. And that has been something that I've been trying that honestly has changed my skin. I had to sing its praises in this video. I've been very happy with incorporating that into my skincare routine. And once I finish up completely the bottles, I will give you a further update for an empties because this is what I'm using and I love it. Now moving on to some hair care. I have some things, I think I've mentioned one of these in the past, which I'm just gonna start off with. I'm almost done this. This is the brand Eco, it's the Eco Styling Gel. This is a professional styling gel, but I like the one that contains vitamin E, fiber, and omega-3, and it's the black castor and flaxseed oil one. So this says it's good for promoting hair growth, and anytime you see me with a slick back style, this is the gel I use, and even after you have a day of using this gel, you can brush it out and your hair looks good, which is incredible. So it doesn't make your hair gross after using it, even using so much to slick back your hair. Your hair just looks better using it. It is so nice. So this is my favorite. I'm almost done. I already ordered an even bigger one of this for next time because I did fall in love with this and highly recommend best gel out there. I've tried a lot. This is my absolute favorite one if you're looking for something for a slick back style. And then this I purchased because of TikTok. <laughs> I saw a girl use this and proof is in the pudding. You can see it in her hair when she used it. It just transformed her hair and it does. It looks like that on my hair too. It is the Color Wow Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish Frizz Control plus UV Protectant. And I like using this as a heat protectant before I blow dry my hair because this makes my hair so soft and shiny. And I did a blowout today. This is the only thing I used in it. So I used my Dyson and it just made it look 
more glossy instead of fried because always with hair dryers, even the Dyson, which is supposed to be gentler on your hair, my hair just always looks dry when I blow dry my hair. But this just makes it look healthy and happy and I don't have to put any sort of gloss after. This is what I do before because it has that heat protectant in it but also I feel like it does add the shine and you don't even have to put it after, but you can use this in wet or dry hair. I've personally just been using it in my wet hair because I do have some shine products that I use after if I need something extra, but this has been really good for a heat protectant for blow drying. It just makes my hair more manageable and softer and just shiny and everything I want my hair to be after blow drying. And then I purchased this because I wanted to try it out. I saw it on Amazon, got a two pack, and this one I dropped so it's busted but I was using this for my daughter for dance when she had recital. This locked her hair in place combo with this gel. Your hair is not going anywhere <laughs> okay. So this is the got to be glued blasting freeze spray if you want extreme hold. I'm talking the wet look slick back extreme hold you need this for if you have any sort of competition my daughter for dance anything you need their hair slicked back no frizz locked in place you could be tumbling twirling i don't know what you're doing but this is gonna lock your hair in place and it's so good like the most extreme hold hairspray i've ever used so very very good huge container of it good price point it's got to be so i love their gel for my brows this is great if I want extreme hold for the hair. The last thing I have here is fragrance, and I'm sure you could probably guess this, that this would be in here this month. I'm a collector and obsession with Sol de Janeiro scents, and these are no exception. They're the new summer fragrance perfumes from Sol de Janeiro, and I did a whole video reviewing them, talking about the scents, and I ranked them for One in Rio, Bikini Season, and then Do Not Disturb. I've actually been wearing Do Not Disturb a lot because I found after trying this out further that the linen smell in this actually disappears a lot. And I find this is very similar in how Ariana Grande Cloud sits on my skin with that like kind of musky, really beautiful dry down that I like in this one. I've been reaching for this one probably the most lately, but if I had to pick, I'm still a huge fan of one in Rio, but I have been liking this more and I said I wouldn't repurchase this one. I would repurchase all of them <laughs> after further testing them out. So, so good and I've just been really loving it. I still need to update that video to say how much I've been actually enjoying this because the linen at first, I would not like that scent if it lasted like that, but it has been going away or at least my nose doesn't pick it up as much anymore. I'm not sure why, but it's good. So I do really like that. Bikini season smells like Flintstones vitamins. It's very like vitamin C citrus. And then when in Rio is kind of my date night floral-ish, but very summer fresh fragrance that uh, it just smells so good. The bergamot opening and all of them have vanilla base. You can smell that in them. So very happy with those. They're like made for me. <laughs> the Sol de Janeiro scents, just how they're layered. Really, really a big fan. And then the last thing that I have to mention is my video game. And honestly, like I just wanna be doing this all the time, but I've been saving it to play with my son and it's so, so good. So if you know anything about me, I love Nintendo. All systems of Nintendo. I've grown up with Nintendo my whole life. So for Nintendo Switch currently, which is the new system they have, my favorite game of all time across any system, game, anything was Zelda Breath of the Wild. That was my favorite game. And then I've been waiting like six years for them to do a sequel. Finally launched on May 12th. It is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I am obsessed with this game. This is so much better than Breath of the Wild. If you've played that, the whole world is like more than double the size of Breath of the Wild. It is huge. You can play Sky, you can play Hyrule Kingdom, you can go underground too. Like there's so many layers to this game and just the amount of things that you can do with your weapons and everything. Like I nerded out when I was talking about this. I was at Walmart purchasing it and I was just nerding out about this game with the guy working there. I'm just such a huge fan and this beats Breath of the Wild for me. So my new favorite game of all time is this new Zelda one and I cannot stop playing it. I love it. It's gonna take me an eternity <laughs> to get through everything that you can do in this game because honestly, there's so many facets of this game that are just incredible and 
I'm such a huge fan. I'm like literally in love with this. <laughs> like looking at it with love in my eyes. So that's the reason why I haven't been reading. I'm up playing Nintendo right now. <laughs> if you were wondering where my book is, but I pre-warned that I would be MIA when that game dropped and I have been. I mean, I love it so, so much. So I'm trying to dedicate certain hours to the game and I'm only rewarded with playing it after I get stuff done. <laughs> so I plan on editing and uploading this tonight and while it's up, maybe I'll be playing some Zelda <laughs> and answering your guys' comments. So thank you guys so, so much for clicking on this video for spending some time with me today. If you are also playing the new Zelda game, please let me know in the comment section. I know some people have DM'd me on Instagram and we've been chatting over there just seeing where we're at in the game, but I'm not too far, but I am pretty deep in the game right now, I've beat one temple, I'm on the second, and I just love exploring. That's one thing that I do, I'm getting shrines, I'm upgrading my equipment, getting armor, like I'm doing all the things so that when I go to these temples, I'm like going off on this. I wonder how many people have just clicked off the video. Anyways, <laughs> I went off on a tangent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna make it all about Zelda in the end, but tons of makeup, skincare, hair care, fragrance, like just, all across the board, such a good month for me for trying out new product. And I just couldn't wait to share with you all the things that I've been absolutely loving. I had to cut back. That's how big it was for me. I just, these are the top of the top. Cannot get enough of these products. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today, if you've not already. I'd absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one.